Hey guys, so it looks like if Tasha K has made a move to file for chapter 11, she filed for bankruptcy, honey. Tasha said, I ain't got it. And she went to hiding all her assets, according to Bishop Whitehead. Tasha hid her assets in different people's names and moved her money around so Cardi B can't get a hold of it. Bishop Whitehead just dropped a video last night or yesterday, and he said she was hiding her assets. And it came out today, Lipstick Alley had it in their uh, news feed that Tasha K filed for Chapter 11. So Tasha K is saying what she's always maintained. I ain't got it. But we all saw this coming because Tasha K don't have that almost $4 million to pay Cardi B. But because she hid her assets and everybody knows that she's hiding her assets, it's blatant. It, it's out in the open because her life is so public. Cardi B's attorney can now go to court and show proof that she deliberately hid her assets from being repo, okay, and being garnished and being taken away. And I'm sure the judge would side on Cardi B's side and force Tasha K to disclose those assets wherever she hid them. So this battle is continuing. Because when you're hiding your assets, as far as I know, you got to do it privately and secretly. You can't do it where everybody in the whole wide world is knowing what you're doing. So Lipstick Alley posted that late on Thursday, May the 25th, it's been reported that the embattled internet star filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. So the way this Chapter 11 works is... It's a plan. They, they propose a plan for you to reorganize and to keep your business alive. You're, they're not going to kill your business because you do have to pay your debt. But you've got, you're going to be paying your creditors over time. So you get a lawyer and the lawyer reorganizes everything, decide what you should sell off to pay your debt. So what uh, allegedly what Tasha K did, she hid a lot of her assets, putting it in different people's names, according to uh, Bishop Whitehead. So the chapter 11 is a plan that is designed to keep the business operational during the following process of the bankruptcy. When filling out these applications, a list of assets must be submitted this information revealed that Tasha K has just $95 in her Chase account at this time. So at the time of the bankruptcy filing, Tasha K revealed she only had $95 in her account after hiding all her assets. Now the mistake that she made was to play this all out on public TV where everybody knows her business. Everybody knows that she hid her assets. Everybody know exactly how much she was making and how much she hid. And when she went over there to Africa and hid the, what, $800,000 in some bank, some bank account over there in Mali, and the money that she had here coming in from YouTube all these months that she came back, all that money is hidden because her account only showed $95. So I don't know. Tasha K, when Cardi B puts you back in court to get all that money that you hid, I don't know how this is going to play out for you. So apparently, Tasha K never shut down her Chase account. She just pulled out that money. Remember when she was saying that she was shutting down her Chase account? She only had a thousand, I think $95 or something of the sort. And then she, she did an auction and, and give away the money. And... Apparently, that account is still open because it's only showing $95, according to Lipstick Alley. So Tasha K can keep saying, I ain't got it. But Cardi B's attorney is saying, we coming for you. We coming after you. We want that money. We don't care if you don't have it. We want it. Whatever you got, we want. So another news outlet said, Pretty much the same thing. Everybody's reporting on this story today because it just broke a couple of hours ago. That we can exclusively report that Tasha K has filed for Chapter 11, that bankruptcy. 
after a judge ordered her to pay $4 million in defamation damages to Cardi B. And the official documents obtained by the neighborhood, that's the name of the magazine, shows that Tasha Kay and her attorney declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy on May the 25th, 2023. What does that mean exactly? Well, a Chapter 11 debtor usually proposes a plan of reorganization to keep its business alive and pay creditors over time. That simply means Tasha Kane's attorney is going to sell off whatever they can sell off to get the debt paid to Cardi B after reorganizing all her assets, etc. So this is a process. Tasha K is not going to be forced to leave her home, vacate, vacate her home, or sell off her home because she does need a place to stay and she does have a family. So in a bankruptcy, Chapter 11, they're not going to force her to sell her home, her primary dwelling. No, they're not going to do that. But things like her cars, those type of things, her personal assets like a diamond ring, those type of things will be sold off. The document also stated, with all applications such as this one, a list of assets is required. We learned that Tasha K currently have $95 in her Chase account, a total of her personal property, including purses, cars, clothes, engagement ring, business-related properties, etc., was equal to $58,595.56. And she currently is not being evicted from her home. But guys, drop it in the comment section. And the rate of the sale, if she's going to sell off, purses and a home and a car, those type of personal items, how long y'all think she's going to pay this debt off? She's going to be an old woman, 90 plus, even 100 plus before that debt is paid off. And she might be owing still. I'm telling you, this thing is not looking good for your girl, Tasha K. She's working for Cardi B at this point because every paycheck she gets from YouTube is going to be garnished going straight to Cardi B. So she may as well hang up her YouTube channel if she don't want to work for free. Tasha K is not being evicted from her home. Nevertheless, Cardi B has explored options around seizing her property in the past. It remains unclear if the YouTuber... Tasha K has a clear plan in place or any idea when she'll be out of the debt. But the road ahead of her certainly seems like a long walk. Out of the debt? In my mind, I'm thinking this is a lifelong obligation. You just don't pay off $4 million like that when you're only working for a couple of thousand a month. I'm saying to myself, Tasha girl, you really dug yourself in to this grave. I don't know how you're going to climb out back. I know her husband is looking at her like, I married a real crazy woman. She put me in this $4 million debt knowing we got kids, a house, family to support and feed back there in Africa. All them poor people I could have been given this $4 million to. Look what my wife dug a hole and put us in. I really married a crazy woman. So after Cardi B was declared victorious back in October of last year, Tasha K attempted to appeal the case, but lost the appeal also. So after Tasha K announced that she had paid off her $4 million debt to Cardi B, Cardi B had to check her account to see if it was indeed paid off, and it was not true. It was not paid off. So Tasha King was playing all kinds of games, but you don't play with people that way. I know her husband was saying, and I know a lot of men would say, not only her husband, I wish I should have listened to my mama when she told me she was crazy, but I didn't listen, and look what happened. So Tasha K lost 
a defamation lawsuit brought forward by Cardi B and had to pay her that exact amount that was ordered initially, the $3 million and change, almost $4 million. That's still outstanding. She still, has got, she still has got to pay that. But every time I look at Tasha Kay's husband, he looks like a deer in headlights. He's looking at her like, I can't believe you did this to us. I cannot believe you actually <laughs> have us owing $4 million that we ain't got. So now that everybody knows that Tasha has hidden her assets, because she made it clear back, I think it was last year when she went over there to Mali and she said, oh, she's transferring her money and she pulled all her money out of the bank, etc. Now Bishop Whitehead said the same thing yesterday when he put out his live and was telling off Tasha K and she called him and they were telling each other off back and forth because he said that she was a snake because she was pretending to have Levantre's back and wanted to help him. But now that she's been paid off by Larry Reed, she no longer wants to help him. She's no longer talking about Levantre, the victim, so-called victim of Larry Reed. So I just wanted to be clear on if somebody hides their assets during a bankruptcy and the judge knows about it or the attorneys knows about it, what were the consequences? Because obviously, you got to pay this debt. And if you're going to hide your assets to me and to a lot of other people, that's kind of criminal. Isn't it criminal to have your assets hidden when you know you got this debt to pay? So it's kind of a slippery slope that you are heading in. So I looked it up on Google, and this is what Google says. Penalties for hiding assets in a bankruptcy. Some debtors can even be criminally charged. When bankruptcy fraud as a result of hiding assets, which can result in up to $250,000 in fine and up to 20 years in prison. So Tasha K, it was not wise for you to flaunt hiding your money and hiding your assets. It's criminal. You can be held criminally liable by the court for doing so. This is why I said before it should have been done in private, in secret, where nobody knows. You don't even tell your best friend. But Tasha K is all over the internet flaunting it. I mean, she is <laughs> seriously flirting with jail time at this point. She she really is. Because I don't understand how she's going to get on the internet and do all this flaunting and hiding of assets that everybody knows. Even Bishop Whitehead came out and said it because he's looking into it now. Because he's going to be suing her, he says. So Tasha K is looking at another lawsuit. I mean, this woman cannot catch a break. Tasha K, lay off the internet for a while. That's what I suggest. Go over there to Mali with your family. Start your production company like you wanted to do, that, that you talked about last year. She was going to do some type of production company where YouTubers or anybody who wants to put out a, a video can do it on her platform. So I would say go ahead and do that, girl, because this ain't looking too good for you. I don't want to see you up in the popo, okay, up in the uh, penitentiary with them popo in there, okay, making fun of you and telling you that you're a liar and all that. I don't want that. And I'm sure your family don't want that either. And you want to be free because you got kids. So Tasha K, do what's right for your family at this point, okay? YouTubers, drop your comments. Hit the like button when you come onto the channel. And if you forget, do so when you get to the end or in between. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, if you'd like to drop a few dollars in the super thanks area, you can do so. And that way you support the channel. I greatly appreciate it, and I thank you ahead in advance. Guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.